What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're gonna be drawing Dr. Eggman from Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's get started at the top of our page with the upper edge of the brow. So we start on the left side, starting from the outside, we're gonna come in and then just bend that down. Let's leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So we're gonna line this up and curve up and then bend that out. Now we're gonna move back to the inside and curl up the brow. Starting on the left side, we're gonna curve around and just pull that up in the middle, and we'll curve down, and then out towards the right. Now we're gonna move down and draw the top edge of the nose. Starting back on the left side, we're gonna curve up in the middle, and then down on the right side. Now from here, we're gonna curve out, and then down towards the side of the nose. Let's round up the side of the nose, come down, and then in towards the center point. And we'll just work our way up towards the right and then round that out. Let's close off the gap between the brow and the nose. On the left side, we'll draw a straight line coming down. Do the same thing on the right. Now we tuck the mustache in underneath the nose. Let's start on the left side. Start by curving out and then up. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's taper that back down. Coming down and in with a short line. I'm gonna go all the way out towards the side. Out, and up, do the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the left side. I'm gonna taper this down and in, and go all the way out and up towards the tip of the mustache. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going down and in, and then going back out and up. Let's pull that back in again. Going down and in, on the side. Draw another point, going out and then up. And then again, we're gonna pull that back in. Come all the way down. And I'm just gonna work our way down towards the bottom of the mustache. Along the bottom edge of the mustache, we're gonna curl the points coming down. Let's start on the left side, go out and then down. Now I'm gonna pull this up, aiming towards the tip of the nose, coming up and into right about there. The same thing on the right side. Now I have one smaller point coming down and out. I'm just going to curve this up and in towards the bottom point of the nose. Let's do the same thing on the right. And now we're going to tuck the mouth in underneath the mustache. Starting back on the left, we're going to come down and then bend that up. Now draw a straight line going across, starting on the left side, go all the way across towards the right, and then we'll separate out the teeth. Starting in the center, draw a straight line coming down, and add one more line on either side. Then we're gonna move down again and draw on the bottom of the chin. Starting on the left, we'll follow the same curve of the mouth, coming down the middle, and back up on the right. Now we're gonna move back up and tuck the goggles in underneath the brow and mustache. So we're gonna start on the left side, curve around, and just pull that down. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Coming around and then in. Now we wanna trace this curve along the inside. So we're gonna step in, go all the way around, and then tuck that up underneath the brow. And do the same thing on the right side. We're also going to add a curve along the inside of the glasses. Starting on the left, we're going to step out, come down, around the nose, and then out in behind the mustache. And do the same thing on the right. Let's add a small highlight on the top left of each eye. Starting up against the edge, we're going to draw a circle. Coming in, and then back out. Let's line this up on the right side, and we're going to tuck this in a little bit further underneath the brow. Let's move out and draw on the side of the head. Starting on top of the mustache on the left, we're gonna start by going straight up, and we'll bend that in. Do the same thing on the right. Starting out here, going straight up, and then bending that in to the same height. Now the goggles are gonna sit on top of the head. So let's start on the left side, start with the bottom edge, and draw a short line coming in. Do the same thing on the right. Then we'll angle up and in. and we'll go straight up towards the top of the head. 
Let's connect the tops with a curve, going up in the middle and then back down on the right. Let's go back to the left side and draw the edges of the goggle. Starting at the bottom, we're going to draw a straight angle line going up towards the top. Go to the inside, draw that same length line. And then we'll draw that same length line along the inside. Going up along the bottom and top. Now let's connect the tops with a straight line. Starting along the bottom, go straight in. Angle up and go all the way up towards the top. Now we take that and flip it over on the right side. Let's start with the top. Start with that angle line going up. Same thing along the bottom. And then along the inside. And then we'll connect the tops with a straight line. Let's add that extension in the center of the goggle. From this point, we're going to step in, recurve down, and then up along the top. And then from the ends, we're going to draw an angle line, going all the way up towards the top. Let's connect the top with that same curve, going down, and then back up. Now we'll move back down to the bottom, curve in the opposite direction, going up, and then over. Now from this bottom point, I'll draw a straight line going up and behind. And then from the top, we'll go straight out. Let's do the exact same thing over on the right. From here, we step down, curve in, and then back out. Extend these two lines going up towards the top. Close off the top of that same curve. And we go back up to the top and curve in the opposite direction. Let's close off the bottom. Starting at the top, come in, and go up. Let's add a strap across the top. Starting from the left side, we go up a little bit higher in the middle, and then back down on the right. Go back to the left, step up, just trace that same curve going across. Then we'll add a strap on the side of the head. From the top, we'll step in, just follow the same curve of the head, going in behind the mustache, on the left and right side. We're also going to accentuate the brow, starting on the left side, underneath the goggle, curve in, and then down. Start aiming towards this point, and do the same thing on the right. And then we'll tuck the ears along the side, starting on the left, curve up, down, and then in behind the mustache. Do the same thing on the right. And then we're going to add a fold on the inside of the ear, starting back on the left, curve up and out. All right, now that we complete the head, let's work our way down the body. We're going to start on the left side, just underneath the head. We're going to curve out, down, and then just pull that in. Line this up on the right side and do the same thing. Going out, round up the body, and then pull that in. Now we're going to go back to the left side. We're going to curve in and then up. Do the same thing on the right to the same height. Let's close off the center with a straight line. Let's add some detail to the body. We start with a zipper along the center, starting underneath the chin. We draw two straight lines: one on the left, and then one on the right. And then we'll add the teeth of the zipper. Starting from the top, we'll step down, draw a straight line going across. We want to leave an even space gap all the way down towards the bottom of the zipper. Now let's add two squares on either side of the zipper. Starting at the top, draw a straight line going along the top and down the sides and close off the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right. We're gonna line this up, come down to the same height, close off the bottom. We're gonna do that one more time. You can gap. And then one more time on the right. Now we're gonna add a strap coming from the square to the side of the body. From the top corner, we're going to step down, draw a straight line going out. On the bottom corner, we'll step up and draw another line. We're going to do the same thing to the bottom. Going out, on the top and bottom. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. Let's add an oval on the side of the jacket. Starting on the left side, draw an oval. Going all the way around and up to the top. Line this up on the right, and do the same thing. 
Let's draw on the lower torso. From this point, we're gonna step down. We'll curve down towards the bottom and then back up towards the right side. Now we're gonna leave a large gap in the center. Let's move over towards the left side. We're gonna curve out and then down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, curve out and down towards the right heel. And then we're gonna round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the heel, we're gonna come down and then bend that up towards the toe on both sides. Let's go back to the left and round out the top of the foot. We go up and then in. Just gonna round this out and come up towards that bottom corner of the coat. Come in and pull that up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Rounding out the toe, up and in. Round out the ankle and go up towards the bottom corner. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom of the foot. We're gonna take this curve, step up, trace that across on both sides. We're also going to add a trim along the front of the foot. From the sole, we're going to step up, draw a short angle line coming down and in. Now we're going to trace the contour of the foot going in and then up to right about there. And we'll close off the top with a short angled line. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Coming down and in. And then just tracing the outside of the leg, coming in and down, and we'll angle up and out. Now we're going to add some lines along that trim. From the top, we'll step down, go another angle line, and again, leave an even space gap all the way down towards the bottom of the trim. Do the same thing on the right. Let's add a small oval on the inside of the foot, starting on the left. Go on an oval. Do the same thing on the right. And we're going to add a small plus symbol on the inside. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the arms. From the top of the body, we're going to step up underneath the head. Start with a curve coming down and then out towards the wrist. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Coming down and then out. And then we're going to draw on those large hands, starting on the left side from the wrist. Start with the thumb, curving up, and down. Now it's gonna round up the thumb and then just pull that back up. Let's do the same thing on the right. From the wrist, go up, come down, round up the thumb, and then pull that back up. And then we're gonna add three fingers on either side. Starting from the side of the thumb, we're gonna draw a half oval. Going out, pulling that in, stepping out, curve out, in. I'm just going to tuck this up underneath the thumb. Let's do that one more time. Starting on the outside, go out, in, round up the finger, and then pull that up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start with that half oval, going out, and in. From the bottom, from the second finger, going around, tucking this in underneath the thumb. Do that one more time. Let's go back to the wrist. We're gonna curve down the palm, round this out, and then up underneath the bottom finger. Do the same thing on the right. Starting from the wrist, start by coming straight down, rounding out the palm, and then pulling that up. Let's add a thick cuff around the wrist. From the palm, we're gonna step in, curve in, and then down to right about here. We're gonna add a notch. Coming down, and then back in. And from here, we're gonna curve down, and then out. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Starting up here, put in and then down to the same height. I'm gonna add that notch. And down and back in. Cut down and then out toward the bottom of the cuff. Now I'm just gonna curve this up underneath the palm. Coming in and then up. Let's go back up to the thumb and add the palm. Starting up here, come down and just hook that in towards the cuff. And then from the bottom of the cuff, we're going to step up, curve up, and then in behind the body. We'll line this up on the right side, tuck this in behind the cuff, and that's pretty much it. There's Dr. Eggman from Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe, and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.